John chapter 16. I still have many things to say to you, but you cannot bear them now. When the Spirit of truth comes, he will guide you into all truth, for he will not speak on his own authority, but whatever he hears, he will speak, and he will declare to you the things that are to come. He will glorify me, and he will take what is mine and declare it to you. All that the Father has is mine. Therefore, I said that he will take what is mine and declare it to you. Are you hungry for truth? Truth is not something we create or discover. It, it's the gift of God who is the possessor and giver of truth. Jesus tells his disciples that it is the role of the Holy Spirit to reveal what is true, right, and good. Many skeptics of truth don't want to believe in an absolute, unchanging truth. If truth is objective, then it must be asserted to as trustworthy and right and be submitted to as authoritative and binding. Some fear that truth will inhibit their freedom to act or think as they want. In John chapter 8, Jesus told his disciples, the truth will set you free. The truth liberates us from whatever is false, misleading, or deceptive. In God, there is no lie or falsehood since he is utterly true, good, and just. And since he is the author and source of all that is true and good, then the closer we draw to him in order to listen to his word and to understand his mind and will for us, the more we will grow in the knowledge of God and his great love, wisdom, and plan for us. So why do we trust the truth that we have received? Today's passage offers us two reasons. Number one, the Spirit led, reminded, and guided Jesus' apostles and revealed the things of Jesus to them as they shared the story of Jesus. And number two, we have the same Holy Spirit inside us helping us to do the same. Holy Spirit, give me wisdom to know falsehood when I see it. I want to know Jesus and to honor the truth about him in my heart, my head, and my life. Help me to know the truth in Jesus and the freedom it brings. Touch my heart afresh by Jesus' words and example and help me to minister in his name. Make my life one of integrity and grace that reflects your glory. In your holy name I pray, Lord Jesus. Amen. God bless you. It's Sunday morning. Thank you.